This is such a cute town. Welcome, reset your journeyers. That hike up to Cascade Falls will definitely reset your journey. Wow. This week we're driving to Uray, Colorado to Mooch Dock with one of our very cool subscribers and also visit the town of Uray. Last week, we boondocked outside of Arches National Park and Canyonlands and saw some absolutely amazing sights. Hey guys, today we are headed toward Grand Junction, Colorado. In fact, I've never been there, but we are going there specifically to resupply. And one of the things about staying out on BLM land is that you've got to go in with all of your supplies ready to roll to stay there for a while, including today we're stopping by Grand Junction and we're going to refill our propane. We're going to restock all of our groceries. We're going to fill our water. We're going to dump our tanks. We're going to buy bugs for Max, but we're going to do all of these things so that we can continue on and stay as long as we need in our next spot, which this time isn't very long because it's really exciting. We've got a treat for you going down to a, a southern location in Colorado. Along our way to Uray, we boondocked just outside Montrose so we could arrive to Uray early the next day. We are boondocked here west of Montrose, Colorado, and this happens to be our Plan D. And that's why I want to emphasize how important it is to have Plan A, B, C, and D, and maybe even further beyond that. Uh, what would have been a great Plan C, we couldn't get into because the road was under construction. I could have upset some construction workers and made my way through there, but not a good idea. Uh, this turns out to be a great location. There's not many here, so we got lucky. So when planning, have a Plan A, B, C, and sometimes a D, because you might have to go that far. This site turned out to be a great location and even had a family-friendly hiking trail right outside our door. We are excited because today we are leaving our little boondock spot here in Montrose to go down into Array as our first time. And we will be visiting a wonderful subscriber who has graciously allowed us to stay at their home out in their uh, driveway for a couple nights so we're really excited to go see them Uray is a small historic mining town tucked in the San Juan Mountains, which is named after Chief Uray of the Ute tribe, and is nicknamed the Switzerland of America because it's nestled in a box canyon surrounded on three sides of the town. We made it to beautiful Uray, Colorado, and we are here at Allen's home. Hello and welcome Reset Your Journeyers. It's wonderful to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. This is the most beautiful this place. This is extraordinary. Yeah. Just... I understand and now I want to live here. <laughs> I already shopped Zillow. It's not going to work. It, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, out of our budget. It, it took 30 years to well, my wife brought me here in 1986 and I drove into town and went, how do you make this work? And it's always yeah. about mm -hmm. money, house, and jobs. Mm -hmm. and yeah, so it took a couple of years, 30 mm -hmm. years to do that. Yeah. So. so thank you. We really appreciate you, you know, giving us this, this place to stay. For Absolutely. Awesome. Anytime. Thank you. <laughs> oh, anytime. Okay, so we'll be here until August, no, you have September. To leave and come back. Oh, okay. <laughs> 72 hours. Uh, plus. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The things you see in Uray, Colorado, that is so cool. Right outside our RV on this huge, like, what, 9% grade hill. Uh, they're trying to put up a new pit toilet at the top of the hill. There's some hiking up there to a waterfall. And uh, I guess that's what they had to do to get this tractor trailer up there. Did you see that, uh, I don't know what that was, the bucket loader. Bucket loader. 
bucket loader was um, attached to it. So pretty cool, still watching. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Making our trek to Cascade Falls. Remember the crane that was up there? That's right, now that pit, now it's the bathroom. Yeah, that pit toilet. Nothing is... like a 9% grade to a blood yeah. flowing. Woo. Yeah. yeah. Right by the gingerbread house. Oh, that is so cute. It looks like Hansel and Gretel's house. Maybe it is, boys. You want to go into an oven? No. <laughs> wow. And there's the pit toilet that made it to the top. Come on, boys. That's that's a hike. <laughs> We're almost there. So beautiful. Can we go to the falls now? Jeans were dirty. They needed to be clean. That was a good way to clean them. <laughs> right? Okay, that was the best waterfall ever. All right, reset turniers. That was awesome. The best waterfall ever. Reset your journey was here. There. All right, that hike up to Cascade Falls will definitely reset your journey. That, if you're here, mm -hmm. go to the right. Oh, that's the perimeter trail. Go to the right. It takes about, what, four or five hours to go yeah. the entire rim of Uray. Um, I guess it's amazing. We it's haven't done it, but you could we, try it. I did part of it. You did part of it. Part yeah, of but it. I kept going up. Oh, that's true. I didn't go into the perimeter. I went up further to oh. the minor. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But anyways, like we said, that hike to Cascade Falls is so worth it. That'll definitely reset your morning, like every morning. If you came up here and hiked that, that's awesome. Do it. Do it. Get oh. your feet wet. You got These feet. guys. <laughs> Be goats. I guess we had fun. Hey there, today we are heading down to the main street in Uray. This is such a cute town. It's called Little Switzerland for good reason because it's, it's just like you're in the Alps. You're just these huge tall cliffs of these mountains and this quaint little town down below. It, it is just awesome. You have to come check it out. The McIntyre Cabin is a historic miner's cabin built in 1878 on Oak Street by George McIntyre, an early mineral prospector in Uray. This cabin may have been the home of the first woman to live permanently in Uray, and it was moved to the Uray County Historical Museum grounds in 1979. 
A mine, this is a mine bicycle. That's crazy. 1950s. You can't, well, you don't have to steer. I guess it, well, that's to hold on. No, there's no steering, it's just to hold on. Yeah. By Dorado mine in the 1950s. Hmm. 1950s. Was that long ago? Ray, Colorado is absolutely gorgeous and definitely one of our favorite places in Colorado. And we really want to thank Alan and his wife for their gracious invitation and sharing their wonderful town and their driveway with us. It was amazing. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.